Hey guys, what's up? It's the Shankopotamus, and today we're playing some Domination on Firing Range. And I'm sure you guys just saw that pretty amazing intro at the beginning of my videos. That'll be, you'll be able to see that every time during all my videos now. I want to thank my friend Don, he's from the United Kingdom. I heard about him from my friend Quake Beats, and he like told me to check him out or whatever because I wanted to have a cool intro. And the guy's actually, um, he's making me a youtube background too which i'm expecting to come pretty soon but the last guy who i paid to do this he i paid him like 10 bucks or whatever and he said he's gonna make me a background and he didn't do anything he just he told me that I'm, i was really stupid he told me to send the money as a gift and that's the only way you can't dispute it on paypal and well anyway just don't make the same mistake i did but check out this guy don i'll put the link to his i'll put the link to his channel in the description check him out he's he's about his business he he gives you his, like, when you ask him to do it, he'll do it right away. He'll, he'll give you a time frame. You tell him what you want, exactly what you want. And he'll take care of it for you. So yeah, put the link to his channel in the description. And this game, I'm sure you saw by the title, is my best game of Call of Duty Black Ops to this date. I go 64 and 5. And I really think the class setup I was using, the perks, and all that just came into place. And right here, you'll see I get a napalm strike. In this game, I think I get I get a triple kill right there, and I get a double two multi kills later in the game with the napalm strike. And I've been feeling that that napalm strike is really effective, especially when you have the UAV right before it, because it's like I'm, I was using hardline on this, so you get a UAV, it's like two kills to get the UAV, so you call that in, and then you only need to get two kills, and it'll it'll last for 30 seconds. So in that 30 seconds, you can call it get your napalm strike, which is a four kill streak if you got hardline on, and then you'll be able to see them all on your map when you're calling in your napalm strike without without having your spy plane up and running then it's gonna be really hard to find where to drop the napalm strike down but um, maybe it was just a mixture of luck and I guess me assuming where the enemy would be based on my spy planes but my napalm strikes do some work in this game yeah so as I just mentioned I'm using the what do you call it the hardline perk which is a blue perk and that guy the m16 is just awful in this game I mean. but <laughs> that was you gotta shoot him like three bursts to the chest i hate it but what was i saying my perks i got the hardline on which is a blue perk then i got sleight of hand for the second one which is pretty effective when you're running around and the aug takes like a little bit longer than the other assault rifles to reload i think the modern warfare 2 is actually considered a light machine gun but yeah so i'm rocking the sleight of hand and then I got Hacker on, and Hacker, if you all know what that is, it's similar to Sit Rep from Modern Warfare 2, except you can actually take the enemy's equipment and make it your own without them knowing. Like you could take his, they take a Claymore or something and use that. I actually haven't used that ability yet on it, but like I, I just use it for it's like Sit Rep because in Domination there's going to be lots of C4s and Claymores placed to defend the bombs and stuff. But so I think that's pretty, pretty effective list of perks that you can use and I think I'm gonna get my napalm strike right here and it's just it, they're just about to get rain terror on them I mean here I think I called it in a second but uh, they I totally just my UAV or my spy plane totally just showed them where they were so as you can see right there I called it right down I plopped it right down on their spawn I think I get like five watch watch the screen light up it's like an eye gasm right there there's five right there and then I think I get another one after that I think I got six uh, there's even another one. I, I don't know. I think I killed the whole entire team though with my napalm strike. And there's more to come. The next one looks. Just, the next one looks just epic. You can actually see the napalm coming down on the people. Now I think like, I feel like I'm pretty set with my guns. Like I'm using like my gun setups. Like before this, I really didn't know what guns and perks and all that kind of stuff I wanted to put on to be successful. But I feel like this aug, like the aug with all the perks and stuff I mentioned is really working well for me. I got that and I also like the AK with dual mags. I think I had a video up a couple days with that one so I mean once you find the guns that suit you in a game it makes it a lot more fun. I mean I was using I was using all kinds of guns trying to find out where I fit in and um the assault rifles is pretty much my home I guess you could say. Yeah but I think another thing that's important when you're playing domination you don't really want to put too high of kill streaks on. I mean because the point of the game is to capture all the different objectives. I mean, you're not going to see me doing that all too much in this game, but still, you don't want to have too high of kill streaks on because you're not going to be able to go on quite as long of kill streaks as you could in a uh, team deathmatch game. So I kind of just have low ones on. Like I'm not using the 
um, what do you call it, the, the Yui, or the chopper gunner, or like the dogs or anything. I mean, I feel like it's, my gameplays will be more entertaining if I actually show like, kills where I'm running around the whole time, not where I'm controlling a chopper gunner. I mean, that is a lot of fun, but you could just, I mean, I'm sure you guys would rather see me do like, more skilled type of games where I'm going around shooting people, and my regular choppers still get me kills, my napalm strikes get me kills. And I think I'm about to earn my second multi-kill napalm strike. Yeah, here it comes. And this is the one where you can actually see the guys getting killed. I called in, like, right in front of me, I think, and I think I see a guy, like, burning or something. I thought it was funny. Here it comes. Let's see. Here comes the mayhem. I'll pop back up. And what's this? Oh, plus 350. And I got... I don't know. I got... I killed the whole team again, I think. Another multi-kill with the napalm strike, but... You guys aren't using the napalm strike. You gotta... You gotta start using that, because, I mean, it, it just does... It does some work. I'm just... I'm just loving it. I mean... Now I'll call on my, plop down my, another chopper, I don't even know how many choppers I got. You can leave in the comments if you guys even know, I think I got like three or four or something, but this is probably, like this is an amazing game for me, I'm just really pleased with this, and I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay. Hope the commentary is, um, not too boring, giving you some tips and stuff on how you guys can do some good games in this. But again, like back to the kill streaks. I'm really glad that... I mean, I'm really glad that the kill streaks aren't cumulative. Like I, I think I mentioned this in previous videos, but I'm just like I'm extremely happy about that because it actually takes skill to go on your kill streaks and stuff. And like, I mean, like as I was saying before, if, you, if I was playing Modern Warfare 2, you just got to get like a seven kill streak, and then you got the nuke right there, basically, if no one has stinger missiles. So I'm just, I'm just really happy that they got rid of cumulative kill streaks, and people who can act, people with actual skill can go on like kill streaks when you're earning. A chopper gunner, you're earning a uh, whatever that thing's called, the dogs or the gunship. You should be to be, be able to because those things just destroy. In order to get those, you should have to do really, really well to like to get those. You shouldn't have to do like with the AC-130 or the chopper gunner. The Modern Warfare 2, you could just put on Predator Harrier AC-130. You get five kills and you get a double kill with your Predator. You wait on your Harriers by camping, and there you go. You got your AC-130 and you go like 5.0 KD like. 50 and 10 in the game and it really wasn't that much skill and those type of games aren't the ones that I'd want to be posting and I'm just I like you know I like running around I like having fun I don't like getting too many kills in my kill streaks I mean the napalm strike doesn't waste that much time you just plop it down look on your UAV see where the other guys are and boom they're in multi kills but you can just continue going around shooting while that's going on unlike where you're camping in the corner waiting with your chopper gunner or you're waiting on your Harriers to get you some more kills, so it's not something I'm pretty happy about with this game. And you'll see me putting a Claymore down right there. And the Claymores in this game are pretty much unstoppable. I don't know if you guys have noticed this too, but in COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2, you'd be able to kind of hop over them if you if you heard you could hear the click and you'd have a second to react. And this, they just explode right away, and you don't even have to have you don't even have to have like danger close on or whatever, I don't think that's a perk here, but you don't have to have anything, your, your claymore is getting you that kill, so I think they're really effective, and I put the claymores on, and then I have hacker to counter other people's claymores, so I don't get killed by them, because I know there's no way I'm going to be able to escape one if I get hit by it, so uh, that's why I'm using my claymores in this game. So guys, I'd appreciate if you leave a comment, if you like my intro, I mean, let me know about that, because I think it's pretty sick. If you guys do think it's pretty sick, let me know. And I get another napalm strike here. What do I do with this? I think I just get like a double. You know, nothing much. Not like another multi kill, but. Yeah, let me know about my intro. Let me know about this video. Leave a comment. Be sure to rate it. Tell me what your opinion was on it. And be sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already. If you guys like my videos, give me some recognition, guys. Come on. So, I think this game is wrapping up right now. Yeah, my final KD again was 64 and 5. Hope you guys enjoyed this, comment, re-subscribe, and I will see you next time, guys. Peace.